Well, hello everyone. My name is Rick Pasek, the Flyfish Fanatic. Welcome to my tying bench. Uh, today, continuing on with uh, the Coronamid pattern uh, theme here for the month of February. Uh, today, I'm going to do a little uh, little spider, a little wet fly. Super, super simple, super effective. Probably one of the most uh, um, effective little wet flies there is out there um, for representing a, a Coronamid. Um, it's kind of like a little zebra wet if you want to call it that. Super, super simple, um, but again, really deadly. You don't always have to go crazy um, uh, uh, difficult in the tying. Sometimes the more simple, the better. Um, so, alrighty. So let us switch over to the camera. In the vise, again, a Hens BL254N, size 12. Semperfly Nano Silk in black. Um, for the rib, I'm going to be using some Semperfly wire in the 0.1 mil. It's a really small wire. And then a little wet fly um, hen hackle just uh, off my, off of here. So, see if you can see that better back here. No, no, it's out of focus, but whatever. So, um, first things first, wax my thread just to get it started. Um, I want this to, obviously, to stick to the, the hook really well. So, just give it a bit of a wax. Start right near the front. Now there are several different ways you can do this. You can stop right about there and that's the length of your body. Or you can go back a bit further, right to the corner. Um, I'm gonna go a little bit further, not right to the edge, to the corner. I'm gonna go right to the start of the hook. Unspin my thread counterclockwise. I wanna keep this nice and flat. Come back, leaving a little bit of space at the front for my hackle. Take my little silver wire it's really s thin this uh this point one is it's it's really thin and it's uh um it, it does it's not that it breaks easy but you can break it quite easily if you want it's because of its thickness right it's really thin um i rather i like using this point one over the point two for this fly um, just because of just weight, I don't want I want this one to sit as high up in the water column, right in that surface film, right. So um, similar to the shipments. So tied that in. Just gonna give it a counterclockwise spin again. Flatten my thread. Come forward. Flatten my thread. Stop about there. Rib my fly. Like I said, don't crank too hard in this super th super small. I think it's extra small. Other brands like UTC, I think they call it extra small, or sm I'm not sure. But uh, helicopter that off. Bingo bango. I've prepared my feather already so I'm just going to tie it in by the butt loose wrap a couple behind a couple on top cut off I'm wax my thread right now because when I tie it back I want it I want to have wax on there so okay now I'm going to bring this forward now there is a chance this is going to break these are very very sensitive little feathers but if that's the case I just tie another one on not a huge deal but so I'm only wanting a couple of turns with this so I'm just gonna stroke all my material my material back I want these to lay back and one more full turn that's it and up and over catch that in having that wax thread helps there it'll really hold on to that little feather stroke everything back even that little waist piece build just a little head not big not much little head whip finish that off I'm not gonna cut that quite yet I want to First of all, remove my little waist piece here. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit of Sally's and do another three turn whip finish for the head. 
Um, if you've got a really nice thin little bodkin or something like that, you can just do it that way. But I like doing it this way. Two, three turn whip finish. Nip that off. And that's it. You're finished. It's, it's, it's that simple of a fly. It really is that simple. Um, I could have probably... I do like having several different uh, uh, dressings of, of the of all of these types of flies. I probably could have went one less turn um, on that one um, for the for the uh, hackle, um, but I do like some with lots, some with little. Um, I'll, sometimes I'll only do one full turn. Well, actually, this is not the same type, but just do one turn, right? Very little, very very sparse. Um, sometimes I'll do it heavier like this. So. Um, and I like having all of it in my in my box. So again, super super simple presentation with this one. Cast it out, let it sit, do a little bit of a figure eight retrieve. Maybe give it a little bit of a pull. Leave it alone. Let it sit. Stop. Be patient with it. Same thing. Repeat. A little bit of a figure eight for maybe you know a foot or two. Stop. Leave it alone. Let the fish come and find it. Um, especially when they're sipping just below surface, they absolutely go crazy for these. So, alrighty. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Like I said, super simple tie. Very good for the beginners to learn. Um, even for the, I mean, the guys out there that have been tying for a long time, uh, getting back into these smaller ones and stuff. Sometimes if you don't tie a lot of small flies, it can be a little bit challenging. Um, especially if you've got uh, older uh, hackles and stuff, they can break. But um, really super simple, really super effective little fly. Alrighty. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did give her a thumbs up if you subscribe awesome thank you um if you haven't please consider doing so and ring that notification bell guys uh that way you don't miss any of the videos that come out i do it i do a video every wednesday and every sunday but if you ring that notification bell you'll never miss one so alrighty, righty guys